Well, hello. Thought I'd try something different and film the me part outdoors. So today I want to talk to give you my first impressions of uh, Omos 360. Now this is kind of an interesting pen because it's made in a shape of a rouleau triangle, which I'll demonstrate later in the video. Um, definitely kind of a polarizing pen. So let's take a look at it. So the Omos 360 is in the shape of what's called a rouleau triangle. And what that means is uh, it's a triangle that's curved. Uh, and I'll try to draw a diagram after I get done loading it up with ink to show you how it works. But the whole thing is like that. It's a slip cap pen. And uh, if you don't like the triangular grip on a Lamy uh, Safari, you're not going to like the triangular grip on this puppy. But what it does show, there's some nice detailing, this kind of Greek keystone design around the cap. Uh, you get the same Greek keystone design here. There's a little trim ring above the nib. Uh, here's the nib. It's uh, Omas. I think it's gold. This is a medium. I think this stuff back here says that it's gold, but I, I'm not, I can't quite make it out, and I'm not quite brave enough to pull it out. So, looks like a piston filler. In fact, some of the Omos 360s were. This one is not. a cartridge filler. I have never seen that detail before. I've never seen a cartridge filler that works like this. I know they exist, I just haven't seen one. So that's kind of interesting. So I went and found a cartridge that was floating around. I'm hoping Omas takes standard international cartridges. So I'm just going to slip this puppy in. It does ride there. And uh, I'm assuming I'm supposed to push down. Maybe not. I don't know if that got punctured or not. No, <laughs> it's not punctured. Okay. How the hell do I get it in there? Okay, I'm seeing a big drawback to this design. Okay, it looks like it did get punctured at some point, so maybe we're okay. But you definitely can't put much downward pressure on it because you can't get to it. So let's just see. Oh, I'm already seeing some ink around the breather hole. Oh yeah, that saturated real quickly. So back when Omas was still a thing, they were known for their extra flexibile nibs. In fact, if you wander around my channel long enough, you'll find a pen that has one. Uh, this isn't one. But it's a medium and it, so far it's feeling pretty good. So this is Diamine Ancient Copper. I'll give you an update on Friday to tell you if, if it crusts in this pen. This is an ink that will sometimes form crust depending on the pen that it's in. So again, not a flex nib. A little broad for how I'm writing in these lines here, but... Uh, it does seem to have a bit of line variation. And, you know, I don't know that I'd call it a nail type nib. Wetness and flow, I think you can already tell it's pretty darn wet. And I do believe it's an ebonite feed, but I may have said that already. Um, Omas made their own feeds and... Uh, I can't remember if they made their own nibs or if they started outsourcing those. It's kind of slipped to my mind now. Uh, the smear test. Yeah, I expected that. And let's check out the reverse writing. Oh, that's just nasty. It is extremely scratchy. And finally, the world-famous Peer Gustafson test. I think it passed that one with flying colors. Okay, so real quick about the root, and I may be butchering it. You know, French isn't my language. R-E-U, Rouleau, E-A-U. So 
So what you need to do is you start with an equilateral triangle. Let me uh, make these points stand out a little bit more. Uh, so all these sides are congruent. Angles are congruent. And then you set the radius of a compass, and I don't have a compass handy. I, I know where there's one at school, but I don't have one here. Um, so I would set the point of the compass here and set it so it'll make a circle with the same radius as the triangle. So as a result, it goes through those two points and kind of wanders like that. And then I set it here. It'll go through those two points and here. And then I set it here, it'll go through these two points, and around like that. And the result is a Rouleau triangle, which I've just horribly sketched there. So, <laughs> apologies to any math teachers out there, that is not um, one of my strengths, drawing a circle freehand. Alright, so what do you think? Uh, I, right away, the shape is not for everybody. I, I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't mind this shape, but it definitely forces you to take that tripod grip. And if you don't like the tripod grip, or you know, if your grip is at all different, ooh, you're not going to like this puppy. But if you don't mind that, if you don't rotate your pen, which is what the, the person who gave it to me said he did, you know, that rotating it like this, you may actually like it. Um, as far as pocket test, slips right in there. So, uh, yeah, hope that was interesting, hope it was useful. And remember, this is a first impression. Although, last night after I filmed the writing part with the other camera, I did do a lot of writing with this pen. So, I like it. <laughs> so, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.